everyone, it's Moonlight Mason. Thank you so much for being here and watching part two of me interviewing Stephen Mango. I have appreciated all of your comments and suggestions and constructive criticism. And let me know if you like this format of video for my channel, interviewing others. Let me know if you want to uh, see me interview anyone else. I'd like to know who, if you want to see me do this again. And uh, without further ado, in this video, we get into it a little more with Shannon Rose. We touch upon Dustin Daly, Nick Schneider, and I believe Jen Gerard. And uh, yeah, why don't we just get right into it? Uh, Shannon Rose, I've also loved her forever. You know, I've watched her forever. I just From loved like her so ever. Days, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so then what happened was that um, when I saw her address, there was a little part of me, like, I don't know where it came from, but there was a part of me that said, write it down, write it down. And I'm like, for what? Why would I write her address down, you know? And I didn't. I didn't write it down, and I just kept reading the comments. And then I go, wait, let me go look at that address again. And it was gone. And then, yeah, it was I gone. I never saw it again. But it was like, you know, I did get kind of a little scared because scared, they did that to uh, Tati at one time. Mm -hmm. Tati Westbrook. Yeah. Her address was released. Oh, and they I think it was, they leaked it out. They, they, you don't know, like, say someone like you, you wouldn't be like, I'm gonna go show up to her house with that for, information. For what? That's what I mean. But right. someone else, who I knows, know, who, I know, because when the, people have a vendetta or if they're know. angry and they want to kill the person, or like, you I never know. know, like, what yeah. kind of craziness uh, is happening? Yeah, especially with Shannon right now with the baby, and you know, some of the stuff that Shannon has um, done or that's come to light, which we're going to talk about mm -hmm. as well, is, you know, not nothing that's easily forgivable. It's not easy. A lot of people are really hurt by it. I personally was really hurt when I did see one of those videos with her, with the person of color down on the ground and her saying mm -hmm. that N-word over and over again. Mm -hmm. I got really hurt by it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think part of it is just looking at Shannon and how, as much as I love that whole family and followed, I was like, what? You know, because I yeah, think about when I was younger, mm -hmm. you know, and we all do stupid things when we're younger. And I think she started at 18 yeah. doing the mm -hmm. porn. The adult which, films and stuff. Yeah, she's right. probably uh, 18. But you're saying she's still doing the fetish? Where'd you get this information? Well, not that she's still doing it, but I, again, guys, this is what I'm... Yeah. It's not 100% yet. I think okay. she might be announcing it. But um, I think she might be trying to go back into doing the adult films because she has her... Um, stage name as Randy Wright. Right. Randy Wright on Twitter, her bio says, I'm back. Then on Instagram, mm. an Instagram page popped up for official Randy Wright, uh -huh. and it said, I'm back, bitches, or something like that. And that popped up. Uh -huh. And Was this after or before? This is after our drama. Really? This is like two days ago. Really? So this is like new tea. So what does so this, this mean, up, though? So then what her is husband this? follows the new porn page. Her husband follows it, so it's, people thought, oh, maybe it's a fake account, someone's trolling. Yeah, that's the other thing, you guys. When I saw Travis in those videos, like, I mean, because, you know, when yeah, I know Travis. Was from the, involved in the, I mean, he was involved in these stuff. videos yeah. so much, and I heard, you know, I didn't see um, when he was undressed or anything like that, but I, did, I didn't see anything like that, but I did see him, like, making out with her on the sofa while, you know, some naked guy was there and with like and a his, slave or whatever they claim yeah not only a slave but his you know privates were all, you know all con convoluted and you know concorded in uh -huh. some kind of metal and uh, you know i was yeah. like what why is because because yeah. um he did make a video once am i gay I remember he made a video like that oh, yeah. saying am i gay and i don't know if people were accusing uh, him I of being gay that. because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've uh -huh. seen him in other videos you know, like that maybe right hmm. you know yeah i don't know but i i do think that Shannon might be, again, in my opinion, she might be trying to go back to being a little bit more scandalous, doing story times, and she announced today that she's not doing her vlog channel anymore. I saw that. So I saw I, that. I think now that because another big YouTuber, Lena the Plug, who does adult films, shouted out Shannon's page. Uh huh. Was it a woman? For the porn page. A woman? Mm -hmm. The one that Shannon interviewed? She did a video where she was interviewing some kind of, uh, she was interviewing like another porn star to ask her if uh to explain fetish or something like no, that. no 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 this is another girl oh uh, but this other girl does adult films but what she does is she does shout outs on instagram for money so you can pay her say five thousand oh. dollars i don't know how much and then she'll say go follow this other porn star to get like promotion oh okay so and that's recent yes like two three days ago she said oh she, basically shannon's back like in the adult world so shannon might have paid her i don't know 100 percent, but this girl mm. does paid um sponsorships i guess for other right. adult performers right which is fine like do whatever you want if you want to do adult films whatever but it's just interesting that shannon's was saying like it's in my past 
But how is it in your past when you're like promoting a new? Well, I don't understand. Career, it's interesting you know I mean? for her to do this right after this this drama. But I think she thinks she she might be canceled. She might think she has to do it. She might think that this is what I need to do to oh, make, to make money. money. Maybe I, I mean I, I'm just assuming. Yeah. Why would you go back into doing it after you have a million subscribers? She must feel that she lost a lot of audience. Or maybe what she's doing is she might not perform new videos. She might just be trying to monetize the old content. Because mm -hmm. I know that she has a lot of old videos. She might be trying to promote her porn again. Mm -hmm. So she might start a new Twitter for that so she can promote the videos and start having a membership site again. Yeah, so that to could bring more money. Yeah, but yeah. she did um she did say that she was um that she had never performed with animals. And there was another YouTuber, God I don't know her name, but she's a smaller YouTuber like myself and she actually has some clips and she just made like a really short YouTube and she said I mean a video and she said if you guys want to see, you know, the the some actual uh, thumbnails or some clips to email her and she'll send it directly because she didn't want to put it online you know well see the one thing about Shannon's video too I was just thinking about how she said oh if you want to see the proof about the the fetish videos go on her patreon I know but you have to pay money yeah I need to go on money and then her <laughs> other video on patreon but then she says at the end of the video oh but you can post porn for Twitter for free right and she said drama channels should do that she said post the videos of me stomping on animals or doing bad things you can post it on Twitter so then Shannon why don't you post it on your Twitter for free to prove if you want to prove. prove why are you asking yeah. for money to prove that she that, said that, she, that, that no this sense. stuff didn't happen. Yeah, that yeah. makes absolutely no sense. No. But I don't know. I just feel like... But I got scared. You know, uh, like when I saw the videos, and these fetish videos, I didn't see too much, but I saw enough. Um, it scared me because it's really... Like, you don't never know a person. Like, you don't know anyone. You know, it's hard to judge someone when you haven't met them. You haven't been to their mm -hmm. house. You haven't had any connection with them. You know, like I know that, that the drama channels come really hard on you all the time uh -huh. right uh -huh. and so you know when when Stephen and I started talking I was like is this something I should do you know like I don't know if I'm gonna harm myself in the end I don't know but see I'm not the kind of person to judge you because somebody else told me something I want to uh -huh. find out for myself what kind of heart that you have you know yeah. and uh -huh. I want to find out who you are so that's what the internet says because the internet can say all sorts of wild things that aren't true internet is basically trying to paint me off in a certain way not just me I'm not saying that you know I got myself involved in this drama and I think that it's okay that people can comment on it any you know you can go on camera and talk about it and stuff but you know kind of like what you were saying people don't know the person that they're talking about a lot of the time and I think a lot of misinformation gets spread like people will be like oh you know tell Shannon's sponsors that she stomped on animals or something so she loses sponsorships it's like well we don't you know, just playing devil's advocate or, or even just like not being biased. We don't know if she 100% did that or not. Mm -hmm. Some people say they've seen clips or not. Right. Some but then people you could try to ruin people's it. life over rumors and things. And people would say about me, like, he doxes people and releases mm -hmm. their information. And Mango is like all these like wild sort of things. And people don't know the truth. But then again, when they have vendettas against you, and since I'm involved in YouTube drama, they can go and start contacting other YouTubers that I work with or know. Or but what I don't understand is rumors. why is it for so long? Like, why haven't you ever been forgiven? Like, look at Jeff Jeffree Star and all the stuff that Jeffree Star and all of these other YouTubers have done and then they they rise and everybody forgives them and loves them and you know like just uh, it eventually glosses over but with uh, you it seems like it's always coming up and like I know that Dustin Daler, Daly and Nick Snyder really don't like you they're always saying something no. bad about you and I'm like no no but I'm like okay what is it ever gonna stop I mean, like, how many years has this been going on? And personally, I don't know anything about whatever happened because, like, I'm not the kind of person to go and start getting my information and start acquiring an, a narrative about anyone without actually, mm -hmm. you know, talking to you and finding out. And so I really yeah. do want to know. I want to know. Uh -huh. and, and do you think you can be impartial and just, you know, tell the truth of what happened? It's hard to say because each drama channel has a different issue with me, honestly. Oh, see that? I so didn't know that. See, I it's thought it like was one, one thing. You know. I didn't know that it's it was... It's not like I was like, oh, um, and I had a scandal where I said something right. crazy. Right, and, and then, then everybody... For that. Yeah, it's, no. It's hard to really so determine it's individual. what... It's, it's, it's individual. It's individual. It's individual. So there's quite a few of them going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't there's know that. There's a few different things. Yeah. I would see different posts. I would see the live streams. I would see the videos. Right. And then when I would comment and stick up for myself, then it's like, oh my God, why is Steve Mango talking about me? oh my god and he's um like they'll switch it and play the victim like they'll come really hard at me and then uh -huh. when i stand up for myself and say hey this isn't true yeah. or something then all of a sudden like they pull back and it's like they're the victim of me it's like you guys were the one who 
started eating on me to begin with. I'm defending myself, and I'm like, oh my god, why did Stephen Mango say did that Did you ever try me? not to say anything at all? Yeah, like I went for a while not talking about any okay. of the channels and stuff and like that. And it's but still now, going on. But now when they're so much bigger than me, uh -huh. they have the platform and the audience to twist the narrative that everyone hate on me just because they'll say, hey everyone, I hate Mango Tea. I had a history with him. You don't know how bad he is, oh, whatever. You know, and, and that's the one, it. right. And that's the one thing that I would like to make clear about this video. Like you guys need to understand that I do like Dustin Daly. I have no reason not to like and him. And you can watch him you, and Of it's course, fine, you know, you and I, mean? I do like, you know, Nick Snyder and you know that Nick and I like you know Karina I like all of the drama channels it's you know but that doesn't mean that you know I don't think for example it wouldn't be fair for me to be like don't ever watch them again don't or this is what don't ever but, watch Nick Snyder you have to be on my side but and see, I feel if like you they were, do that to me I know a lot, a lot and, of these but if you did say that then that would give some validation to, to what they're putting out there right that but, I'm trying to right some exactly sort of manipulative scheme or it's, some sort of thing right so that. right that's so that's not the why case, I like but they do that to me a lot and I never like tell my people I go know, ruin these people Steven, whatever and they said, come for me they've said to their audience not to watch you Oh yeah, easy. They tell people, and they they make it very clear. Like Mango is this. He doxes people. He's an evil person. He's bad. He's trash. He steals our receipts. They'll claim that I steal their video ideas or uh -huh. information in their videos, which is not the case. Especially when it's something like this. Like say it's about Jaclyn Hill and her lipsticks. Uh -huh. If there's like a, a photo of lipstick with the hair in it, mm -hmm. that picture is on social media. Right. So just because it's on their video doesn't mean it can't be in my video because I found it on say Twitter. Or I found it on another right. website. It's right. not like it's exclusive where it's like they make it seem like there's an email saying like, Dear Nick, blah, blah, blah. And then I copy that Dear Nick email and I put it in my video and don't credit them. It's not like it's an exclusive thing mm -hmm. that I'm taking from their right. thing. It's A lot public of things, information. It's public information of public scandals and things that happen on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But then they try to do anything in their power to ruin me. I can't wrap my head well, around the, uh, why these well, people don't want to ever like It's like a, a group and social mentality as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like... I don't want to be ostracized. Ostracized. Yeah. Ostracized, you know, by any drama <laughs> channel or anything. Yeah, no. I like everybody, you know, and I'm trying, like, the, the whole. I want this whole goal of this video is to see if we can resolve some of these issues that have been going on for so long. And see, that's the thing. I mean, because when I've is it going to stop? That's the thing. Like, I wouldn't. I, it's the thing where, like, A, I want to kind of get out of doing so much drama because I see how much it affects me to have these personal issues with people and to be, you know, having that mob mentality. They all come and they bully you for different things. And they'll be like, oh my God, but Mango, you did things. You deserve to have people come for you. It's it's beyond that. It's the point where it's like you can post videos, coexist with people, and not have it be messy, shady, tea spilling all the time. Right. Like, I feel like it, it could well, the, be well, fine. The... Like, I'm not the type that's like, I... Well, we can report to... as drama channels. You can report on the drama, but uh -huh. with, we don't want to be involved in it. You don't want to be a part of any drama. Yeah, and I and I right? realize. Yeah, and I and I learned my lesson that I don't want to be the subject of the drama videos. Like I want to report on them, and I did make mistakes to try to be involved in the drama to think it would help me. Mm -hmm. What I didn't feel like I was growing as much as I wanted to. Um, like the mistake you just made with Shannon. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, the same thing. Right, and I, yeah. I said like even though that I feel like Shannon didn't play the cards right, she painted maybe a stalker, all these wild things. I still got myself into the situation in the first place. Uh -huh. I still talked about the drama. I still I got I was still a co-conspirator with her so it's not just all her fault I do think right. that it got out of Shannon took it in another direction so yeah. I do have some issues with how Shannon played it out right but again I got and, myself involved in the situation and it's like the sort of thing where is it worth ruining say my whole like YouTube like people being like he's canceled for no her. but not only that anything. weren't you friends with her like you said you hung out with her in 2018 yeah so weren't you and even before that too so you guys are no, not talking now she blocked me right after I made my video because this is what happened I said I am gonna come so forward. you lost a friend yeah she and was your friend Casually. Casually, like an acquaintance yeah, that we sometimes yeah. hung out with or, or something. Talked to, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't like we were best friends. No, right, but, right. So someone like I knew through YouTube. Yeah. But it's the sort of thing where it's like, yes, like I said, I want to come clean about this. I can't keep lying to my subscribers. I don't want to keep carrying this on. I don't want people to think I'm this dangerous stalker. It's going to hurt my image, my YouTube career, anything going forward. Like, but we can rectify together and say it was a social experiment maybe or mm -hmm. find some way where my name is now cleared and that's and what we but that's what we all thought you guys were doing when you went to her house and you both because when i first clicked mm -hmm. on that video and i saw shannon i was like is that steve mango i, I was like there. sitting <laughs> at her house like 
<laughs> what happened here? So I didn't know that the the fakeness or the skit was going to, you know, perpetuate and get even deeper. I thought that was you guys redeeming yourselves and saying, you know. But we did it in the way that it wasn't, it was just like, we're not going to talk about it anymore. We're apologizing. And that was it. So then it never means that I didn't do it. She's claiming. So no one, people still think I was hacking her emails or whatever. Like, yeah. And even though she's like, yeah, I got your, my assistant gave you those emails she was claiming, but okay, then it still looks like I was vindictive and released your private things, which yeah. make me look bad as a person, as a YouTuber, no one's going to want to talk to me. If I'm, if people are worried, I'm going to do that to them. So I had right. to feel like I could come clean, but she didn't want to. And I, and I knew it, something was up with the $400 when she went and she got the $400 in cash and gave it to you. Not? And then you, you put it down and you go, no, no, I, I don't, don't want it. it. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Why would you want it if you spent $400? That's a lot of money, right? But she, so but I was what like, she said in the video though, was the issue that she said, oh, just in case you did try to pay someone, I'll give you the $400. She never said you actually did pay me. So I wanted her to even take some fake responsibility, even though it was fake, to say, yes, you did pay me for the glam. So then she looks like the bad guy a little bit too, because at this oh. point, I'm always the bad guy. Right. I wanted her to take some responsibility. So that made no sense with the Venmo, because I have Venmo, no. and it was like, wait, they're your friends, and how can there be another Shannon Rose that you sent you know, $400, $400 to? So that was like a big... I mean, that, mm -hmm. I could see the discomfort in you uh -huh. because you were like, you didn't, that money was like, <laughs> like, you know, I don't want it. I because don't want it. Because then it still makes me look like I'm taking money no, from I know. her. And it, it just, the whole situation was so bad, guys. It was so messy that <laughs> it was I messy. had to just it was come messy. clean about it and eventually like move on as best as I can about it. Like I know like we were talking about, oh yeah, she may be getting back into porn or she deleted her vlog channel. It's like, I, I wish Shannon the best, honestly. Like I know that we don't get along. She didn't, she blocked me. She doesn't want to talk to me ever again because she thinks that maybe I ruined her image. But what by does she think you did about wrong? It, but what is it that she- Coming that, clean about it because she wanted, she thinks that it's going to hurt her image that she did a stunt for publicity. Oh, okay. So that's why. So now okay. she wants to still play this idea that like, oh my God, like it's my fault still because I came clean about it. Uh -huh. And I didn't, I betrayed her trust to, because I exposed that it was true. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want me to do that. <laughs> and so then okay. it's like, so then that's why she blocked me. I'm like, Shannon, if you want to call me, call me up. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm not the type that's like, I'm going to hold on to grudges or resentment forever about it. But she's mad. And that's the thing with the drama channels and stuff too. Like, they never want me to have like a future where I, I can move on and be a YouTuber or be a drama channel in the same space and not they engage don't. in things with them. They don't. They want to any single time, like I even like slip up a little bit or trip or something's not 100%, they want to boom, 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 expose me. I won't talk about them anymore. You know what I mean? But they still want to always come for me because they're so resentful, in my opinion, about what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. But I'm fine with like telling them like, hey, you know what? This happened between us, whatever. Can we ever move on? Like, why is it better to have anger at someone forever like mm -hmm. what does that but serve see, the, I, one think, of us? I think like, the reason <laughs> that won't happen is because it is like a mob mentality i'm telling you that's why because a lot of times i'm thinking wait if i you know like i was thinking if i make this video with steven mango is that gonna you know make all these people not like me but i'm not making people f i'm not making videos for people to like me or not like me you see what i'm saying i'm yeah. not i'm here because i watch him you know and yeah. and a lot of people a lot of drama channels and a lot of viewers have all this negativity towards him and i'm like really what's up you yeah, know what's the deal yeah, yeah what, what is up here you know why why, <laughs> why do so like many him? people not like him you know but i they're need all to friends know. they're all those drama channels are all no friends. i know they're like, all friends they they're all in this one's connected to this one they all make similar videos and there's like this whole little web and it's all the same like 10 people so you how can one so what i'm saying is how can one of them come up and say okay yeah you know like like either nick or or, or dustin or i don't know who's been the maybe jen who, who's been like no the they're, big, they're all they're all uh, they're you know all one of them come home. up and say you know what <laughs> steven let's just you know bury the hatchet let's just see if we can just forget about it you know and let it go but they can't do that because then the other ones might not like them yeah, that's because, what's happening because that's what i mean if i expose one of their friends they can't be on my side they have their own little click and i don't want to ever do this i don't want to ever be in a click like this. no and it's and it's so stressful too because once one of them is against you well, it's they being all controlled come. it's like being controlled you're being controlled with your content um i'm talking about the youtubers uh -huh. that do drama you know mm -hmm. they're not being real you can't really say what you feel because when you do if you say something against you know 
you know, Rich Lux or, or Nick or something, mm. then, you know, people aren't going to like you. They're not going to like you. And they're gonna, and it's like, it's so toxic. And I feel like a lot it's of these so drama toxic. channels, they talk about these type of things happening as like a bad thing, but they do it. There's like the hypocrisy that lies that they go around and they cancel people and they go and they are doing those type of things and they're coming so aggressively at me, but then they talk about how other people are bullies or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll say, I'm this bad guy or bully when I don't do anything like this, but then they do that to me. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. There's this double standard. They get away with certain things that they say different things that if I said it, I would be canceled in their eyes. But they can say it because they're all friends. They all run ideas by each other. They're all like, okay, I'm gonna say this. We're gonna come for this YouTuber like this way. And it's all kind of calculated. You don't really know unless you're like in that little world. I don't know. But that's just what happens. Like they all have little things. So then mm -hmm. anyone who looks like if you're just an average watcher of like one of those channels, yeah. then you, I watch you're gonna see that how they come for me. Uh -huh. And then you're gonna be like, oh my God, this mango guy must be crazy. Unless you know my side and the history, you right. might realize And that's that why I'm doing this, because this I thought like he was game. crazy too. It's like, well, mm -hmm. I don't really know what's going on. You know, and I wanted to know what, what was going on. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is just a side that people need to realize like, uh, like maybe I did a scandal for views or something. Like we can move on and I can show that I'm, you know, moving forward. Growing. Yeah. That you're growing. Uh huh. But should I always be held accountable for something that you made a mistake on and I apologize and I came clean about like should that always define my whole life and my career my family and everything I do YouTube to nobody support, can you know make I mean? an apology video that's accepted um, every time yeah. there's an apology video yeah, it's, like it's, well it's, you did it you know but yeah, you were then, but the thing was is I was gonna I'm so glad I didn't say it because I was gonna say you know mm -hmm. you can't say he was fake crying because people cry all kinds of different all ways, ways you know? yeah. yeah they cry all different ways some people cry with no tears I mean that's true there's all kinds of ways but you were faking it well that's this, <laughs> no that's the thing though mm -hmm. i actually did when i was thinking about it like cause i kind of looked up and i kind of got a little like choked up for a second i added the color to it like for a second i, I was actually feeling a little bit of emotional and that's when i decided like oh, i'll kind of like but Stephen, emotional about it. what about losing a friend when i was Shannon, thinking about or what the, were you emotional about thinking about how i'm now in this place with Shannon when I really did admire her and she was one of the reasons I decided to do YouTube and why I'm at the place in my life that I am. Yeah, so it's that's hard how with I Shannon because I'm going through the same thing with her right now. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you lose, you know, someone that you really cared about, even if you don't know them and you're just watching them on YouTube. That's what happened to me. Like, I'm really feeling like I'm going through some grieving process or something, yeah, you know, because like, I don't want to support her. I really don't. I've seen enough. I don't, you know, you kind of I think it's different, stand, like with yeah. what Shannon's done than what you've done. To, to be like, because I'm an animal rights activist, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I mean, I love animals. And so anything that has to do with harming animals or anything like that, like I've given up, I think I made a uh, mention of it in a video, two friends of mine, I'm no longer talking to them because mm -hmm. they abused and neglected animals, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So. Let's see, the thing with Shannon though, is that I've said from the beginning, like, I don't feel like she's been accountable to any degree for her past like she plays the victim in the sense of being like even in me like i can't believe Peter would ever drop me just because i do porn it's like shame it's not because you did porn it's because right. you did animal fetish yeah torture videos that's why like i feel like she rewrites the story to fit her narrative so she doesn't have to take accountability or responsibility because mm -hmm. she wants to twist it to not really have to be accountable and to that's make what it they kind feel like of okay to me. like she's never said like i'm 50 percent involved in this or i need to apologize for steve for my part in it and if she never does she never does but right. at least like i just feel like even like every day since the scandal she's found a way to try to manipulate her audience mm -hmm. in such a way to paint herself in a certain light that's why i was upset because during this whole entire time i feel like she kind of colored me in a certain way and it wasn't right and you know with the drama channels and stuff like that i'm just gonna stay in my own lane and try to make my own videos with cancel culture and stuff like that, it depends so on bad. the thing. It's bad. It depends bad. on the situation. If the person makes strides to change and to do better things, give the person a chance. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for me, I, for the most part, my life is quiet. I'm not here on the internet as people paint me out to be like, oh my God, I have to expose this one. I want to ruin this person's life. Like I'm home with my husband, my dogs. I make these videos for entertainment on Mango Tea. The Mangotology stuff is more serious, exposing Scientology stuff. But like, I'm not here to try to like ruin drama channels or whatever like it would be nice if i got along with some of them they don't want yeah. to give me the chance to ever say i'm sorry to them for any sort of things or them to say it to me they want to go back and forth and fight and yes do i troll sometimes on live streams and stuff for fun whatever yes 
do I talk about these drama channels or people or situations? Sometimes, yes. Like, some of them will be like, oh my god, Mango T is doing anything. He's still talking about the situation with Gerard or talking about Nick Snyder or Dustin or T by Ali, whatever. It's like, yeah, but they talk about me and do things behind the scenes all the time. Like, with Shannon, like, Nick Snyder is writing to Shannon the second this happened, being like, I want to know what's going on with Steve Mango because he was trying to make a video. Yeah, but he ended up getting mad at Shannon, right? Because In the he, end, right, yes. Right, because what did she do? She gave him, what, some emails or something? Shannon gave me the direct messages between her and Nick. Oh, and so that's what... they were what... talking privately and Shannon showed me their private messages. <laughs> you can't trust forward. anybody! Oh my so she, God! Again, no we wonder Nick is so upset. But, no, but, but no it's because they... Shannon knew, knew that we had a pass and she was trying to be like, hey, look, even behind the scenes, they're trying to get dirt on you from me. You know what I mean? Because they wanted to make videos oh. ruining me. So the, in the beginning, they were all pro Shannon. Uh -huh. We love Shannon. Cancel Mango T. Right. Tea. When the drama switched and a lot of stuff came out about Shannon, yes. then it was like, Mango T, let's push him aside. He's not innocent, but we'll push him aside and we're going to cancel Shannon. Mm hmm and it kind of switched because they saw like how nasty a lot of her videos were and also how she was, again, once they realized Mango T's involved with Shannon, uh -huh. they don't like me, so then they're gonna cancel Shannon. Oh my God, you conspired with evil Mango. So then- Yeah, I heard you. it, I heard it. Cause There's they're like, why things. him? Why the fruit kid? Yeah, the fruit cup kid. And all <laughs> why these him? I mean, why not a bigger channel? Why did she do this with him? Because well, we're already we're kind of friends. That's why. Because yeah. they were friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like you're getting all the tea, but that's how it is though. And these channels like they'll they'll pick things. Like, oh, we're not going to watch this person because Mango's associated with this. They want to ruin me at all costs. Like there's never a chance to ever rectify things. I think you know I can. Move I wish on. you guys everything would rectify. But you know what? If if it doesn't, I'm fine yeah. with staying in my own lane, making my own content, and yeah. doing my own thing. And I'm not going to let them try to take me down a me this is what i love to do in making videos yeah. and they're not going to run me off the internet or something they can try to expose me or say things about me or make up and it's easy and behind like, a keyboard or when you're behind uh you know at home because and they're alone. drama channel guys and that's their job but to these do. are real people yeah but, but that's their real, job and they don't know me i haven't met one of them i'm trying to think if i ever met a drama channel in person no I know big YouTubers. I never met a drama channel YouTuber. None of them know me. None of them know me personally. They don't know what I'm about. They don't know what I'm like as a person, what I'm like behind the scenes, what my channel is, or what I'm trying to be. And yes, did I do well, crazy? Sad. Yeah, and it's like I've done videos in like when I was starting that, like I was saying with the drawer one or other things that I took my channel in a direction that I shouldn't have gone or I should have been more fun. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I well, wanted. Well, I'm just wondering if they need like, more of this from you. Like just more of you uh, saying, you know, being accountable for, for and I, I hear you being mm -hmm. accountable and saying, you know, this is what I did and you know. But they're not willing to also accept how they've interfered in my life too. Like I've, Contri well, I feel like everyone contributes to a certain degree. I can take my accountability to them for certain issues. Uh -huh. But they're not willing to be like, hey, we've but, also done X, Y, Z. But Stephen, that's, that's not your concern, thing. though. Yeah. You don't need to be concerned about them. You mm -hmm. just need to be concerned about keeping your heart free and keeping keeping you in a good place. You know, don't be concerned about them apologizing to you. It's and you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for mm -hmm. you, right? Say, you know, I've I've already done this. I've already apologized. I've I've been accountable. I know what I did wrong. You know, and then you can you've done your part. If they still want to be mad at you or something, I wouldn't talk about them not doing it to you because that's them. But to what degree? Mm -hmm. Does it, and I agree, yeah, I think that's totally true, yeah, because it's not about like changing how someone feels or like apologies, that sort of things. But they, to like, to what degree am I supposed to be canceled for? Like, am I supposed to never move on in these people's that's, eyes? That's you know my I mean? question. For how it's long, like, for how long, this, for right? how long like, does how long it, am it's I supposed bad. to take? Because crap it's from better if there wouldn't be any hate and there wouldn't be any crap given to anyone, that would be ideal. But the thing with you is things that you've done in the past, I, it still keeps coming up all the time when they talk about you. But it's like also like involving my husband in this drama, like his oh. number leaked and they're texting him and leaving him voicemails and he gets a hundred Twitter notifications. To what degree, like come for me if you want to come for me for something, but he's not a YouTuber to the sense that like he's not involved in this drama. Like why do you bring my my family life into it. You know what I mean? Or they'll yeah. contact other people that I know. And it's like, these people go to like such extremes where it's just like, I don't do that to those channels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say it makes but no was sense. it the channels or was it viewers? You know, that, that Both. the channels actually text your husband, not the channels, but their viewers. Yeah. Um, yeah. The viewers, not mm. the, not the drama channels, because the, the right, viewers right, right, are doing right. the same thing to Shannon right now, which I don't right. agree with. You know, they're att they're attacking, the, they're talking about the baby and the cat and calling, you know, all these organizations to have them removed. And that's going a little bit too far because- No one's life should be I, ruined over that exactly. either. Exactly. So it, it just, you but know, if she took 
responsibility maybe Shannon then it would be one thing but she's trying to yeah. I don't know there's just like so much with all of this sort of like drama and stuff like that I just think that people like it's with any youtuber and stuff like that like people take it and cross it into like some personal way that they want to like ruin your life forever like even when I worked at another job before like before I did YouTube full-time they would try to like call and not like the well actually there was some channels that would talk behind the scenes to different people that I knew or worked with and stuff like that. But I don't want to talk about that like on the channel, but I'll tell you like off camera sort of stuff. But there was like channels that would do it. But now it's mostly the viewers, I think, of people who get involved. It's the viewers. And they want to like ruin your life or like your job or like that sort of thing. And it's like people like this is just for entertainment. Like you have to like right. realize like, yeah, sometimes things cross the line. People make mistakes, but you have to like give people a chance to like come back from mistakes. And wild right now because people are responding I mean acting and being involved when they know the whole thing is fake but then people this, are like oh don't put your life online if you don't want to be in, oh, Karina, involved in that Karina sort of said thing. that Karina said never put your life online I remember Karina Kaboom said she that said something. yeah it just but it just in general people say that too like don't put your life online and you're opening yourself up to that yeah like, just to some degree but that doesn't also mean that you can be an a-hole just because someone's on the internet that doesn't mean that they're like a clown or something or like right. you have to you know cancel or attack that person like they're still there and i don't know I, I just think that people need to realize like yeah some people do choose to be online but it's like that doesn't mean that you you hold them to a different standard where you know you cancel them it's, it's just like high school these drama channels no honestly. that's what like, i was gonna say it clicks. is like high school those drama channels sit yeah. at that table this one's over here yep. alone because they're ostracized this one's the beauty guru <laughs> table because yeah. they're the cool kids yeah and then there's the mukbangers over here so they have like all the little things and and that's why honestly like I've, i took breaks at time with youtube and i'm trying to figure out honestly and i still probably haven't figured it out the right way to do things to where it doesn't it's not like i'm involved in high school as a adult yeah yeah, well, I you have, just said... I have my life, but, I have my dogs, I have my husband. Like, I don't want to be yeah. dealing with but, I mean, you, immature you, drama with these people. You did <laughs> say something about you might not be making any more drama channels. I mean, any more drama videos for your channel. But the thing is, is you can... I will, but differently. It, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you will, but just differently. You'll see things differently and you'll know... You can put yourself in that person's position place mm -hmm. and know that you're not going to you know come really hard or say yeah, anything like really I, bad about them yeah you like know? i still want to do drama but i don't want to do drama where it's hurting people or it's exactly mean or i'm exposing past things just like this is the situation i'll talk about it and yeah. comment on it as a drama channel and as a watcher of these things but not to where it's affecting people's livelihood or life or things like that like that's not what i want to do with my channel but Mm -hmm. I know I can't speak for anyone else. Maybe other people do that, but you know, at least for me, I can't deal in the scandals and things. It just it's, it's just so unhealthy, and it's just it, I know. And I, I hope like the last that couple of weeks has just like drained me dealing with this drama. You know, I can't imagine. I just it's such a big one. And then, <laughs> then someone have said uh, I heard that it's the biggest one, but then someone said no. Jacqueline Hill's lipsticks were the biggest was the biggest drama. That's but, the biggest you know, one here. This is pretty big though, mm -hmm. only because of what came out at the end. Like I said when I started, uh, when we started this video, it started at one thing with you and Shannon, and it ended up in something a worse, whole different thing, a whole worse. different thing, and you're out of that. I mean, you're out of it because you're not part of this, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, you're not part of the porn industry and you're not doing all this stuff that she's doing. So I'm not sure how that's going to end up for her. I don't know either. I wish <laughs> we're going to have to watch and see. I don't know. We're going to have to watch and see what happens with that whole thing. But yeah, right. no, I, I mean, I've learned my lesson with all that and I'm glad that now I can move on with my channel and Shannon's going to do her own thing, I'm sure. And, yeah. you know, I when people would ask me like oh why do you keep bringing it up and talking about the drama and like trying to defend yourself it's like you know because people all have their own opinion i could only i need to clear up my name but it's come to the point where it's like even like when i'm telling you like earlier in the video and stuff like this is how it started off like showing my intentions like it wasn't what people are painting it out to be and we both played a role in it but now hopefully you know i can try to stay on a more <laughs> healthy sailing path yeah not do that <laughs> kind of stuff anymore mm -hmm. no yeah <laughs> no, it's, it's not worth i don't think that views, was worth any it amount of money no it's not worth it's not it's not worth it no, no especially um when it comes back like, like i'd karma. rather have like five subscribers right and be happy than have five million and be miserable exactly right 
you know and maybe this what's come up up upon shannon rose right now is the karma for her for for what and then i don't know what else she's lied about i mean people are like not trusting anything she said they don't know if any of her stories or anything that she's ever done is you know has been exaggerated or anything like that or if it's true or not yeah i mean i think there's elements for anyone's youtube channel where it's true but sometimes i think some of these story timers they add a little bit of color to it there's a there's a sense of truth to a story then they kind of yeah yeah, I don't need to do that with my stories from my childhood because it's really chaotic and crazy. It's like, like so crazy. I don't need to add any extra. <laughs> I mean, that was, oh, oh, yeah. We have to look for some of your story times then. Oh, yeah, they're good. <laughs> so, guys, just to end this video, I know that we've been talking for a while about different, like, um, situations, whether it was the drama channel, Shannon and stuff. I guess, like, the point that, you know, we want to make about all of this is that, you know, we're all people behind the camera, you know, and even just in general on social media interactions, whether it's YouTube or not, just really think about what you say to other people. I think that if people want to change or they have intention to be a better or different person, give the person a chance to like make things right. And like, if the person doesn't change in the future, then again, yes, hold them to you higher know, standards. Uh, yeah. But if the person does try to show genuine effort to want to make a difference or change, like give the yeah. person the opportunity. And I kind of what you're saying and what I learned from, you know, what we were talking about is like, you know, you can give your apologies and give like your, you can offer what from your side uh -huh. of like what you're accountable for and like what you should Absolutely. apologize for. And if they want to take it, great. If not, like you can't change their mind. No, you, you can't, can't change what they're doing. Yeah. You can only change how you are and, and how you treat yourself and you treat others. And I think that because you have such power and so many people are watching you, respect you, love you, whoever you are, you wanna make sure that you don't spread any more negativity and hate because yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, you don't wanna really hurt people. And at the end of the day, there was that girl that just committed suicide, not just because of the YouTuber, because she already had mental issues, but sometimes it's just a little tiny comment or something that'll push someone over the edge. Yeah, we don't want anything like that no. to happen to No, all right, her. you guys. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us today. I got and um, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, cool. Fun. <laughs> Great. Fun with you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, you go out there and just spread positivity. And go down below, click subscribe. We need to hit a thousand subscribers over here thank on you. this channel. That would be really cool. <laughs> leave comments for us, guys. Yeah, leave your comments Thumbs below up. and be respectful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Guys. <laughs>